Welcome to the Mining Show, PDAC 2019, day one. Here we are in level 700 with standard lithium. Thanks, Peter. How are you doing today? Very well. It's exciting times for us right now. Um, what's happening at Standard? Uh, well, we're advancing our South Arkansas Lanxis project. It's the most advanced lithium brine project in North America. Just recently we announced two 43101 reports in uh, South, uh, South Arkansas for 3.8 million. Tons. Well, what's neat about you is you're not a mining company. Yeah, we're considered a mining company, but we don't do exploration. We mine data. The project we're building in South Arkansas is by and large already permitted, fully operating. Our partners on the project are German specialty chemical company, Lanxis. Which is the third largest chemical company in Europe. That's correct. Yeah, and they've got the largest brine processing facilities in North America, in South Arkansas. And it's already in production producing another mineral, right? Bromine. It's been in production for 50 years. Right. So they pump six billion gallons of brine every year, strip bromine from it, put the brine back in the ground. The brine happens to be rich in lithium. We secured an agreement with Lanxis to demonstrate that we can uh, effectively recover the lithium from their brine. It's an unconventional resource. Right. It's not like a South American brine project. You can't put evaporation ponds in South Arkansas. It rains there. There's hurricanes. It's, it's right. forested. So uh, unimaginative mining companies race to follow uh, cookie cutter projects in South America that generally never get built. We looked at this as an opportunity where we could leverage the existing infrastructure piggyback off of their permits and go into production much quicker because we have eliminated all the risks and all of the hurdles that companies face in permitting, infrastructure, bringing projects online, putting money into the ground. Right. This one's by and large fully baked already. So even though you're, you intend to be in production someday, you're more of a research and a science company. No, we're building a demonstration plant right now. It's being built in Ontario at Zeton. Mm -hmm. It's being shipped to South Arkansas this uh, second quarter of this year. Right. It's going to be installed inside a permitted fence of an operating brine processing facility. We'll be able to demonstrate that we can commercially extract lithium from the brine in South Arkansas. Right. We're going to run it for about 200 days and then subject to proof of concept being uh, what we expect and a positive feasibility study, right. our partners Lanxis have committed to the commercial financing on the project. It's unlike any of our peers. We don't have to go back to the market to raise money. And that's because you announced the bought deal last week. That's, that's one, we did a bot deal with Canaccord. It's, uh, you know, it's been difficult in the lithium space for the last 12 months. Right, the pricing but, has come off. Yeah, the pricing and hundreds of companies, but our novel approach and being partnered with a major chemical company really highlights this project as one of the least risky for investors to look at. Because by and large, if we look at what's happened in Quebec just recently with Namaska blowing out their budget, right. we don't have to, we, we pretty much I've eliminated that risk because we've got a partner that's built chemical plants globally. We've got right. 79 plants around the world. And I imagine that that partner is your offtake partner as well? Yeah, they committed to project financing and committed to all the offtake from the from It the does project. mitigate a lot of the risks involved in this stage. Yeah, no, and the, the, the key things for investors to look at with us are us moving the demonstration plant to South Arkansas, getting it up and running in the second quarter, right. commissioning it, and then running it through to the first half of 2020 when we hope to have a positive feasibility study at that time. I'm sure investors will be following that timeline. Robert Mintak, CEO at Standard Lithium, thank you for coming in. Awesome. Thanks, thanks for a, having us. Have a great day. Thank you.